In this video, I'm going to write and solve a differential equation in order to determine how long someone could hover using a jetpack. The problem reads, a person on the surface of Earth is wearing a jetpack. The person jetpack system has a total mass m, and 20% of the system's mass is fuel. How long can the person hover above the ground if the jetpack exhausts its fuel at an average speed of 850 meters per second? The first thing that we should do is establish the criteria for hovering. If this blue dot represents the system, <clears throat> then uh, while the system is hovering, there are two forces exerted on that system. One of those forces is a downward force and this is the interaction between the system and Earth, the gravitational force that points downwards. And the other force is the force that's provided from the exhaust of the jetpack, and that is an upwards force acting on the system that allows them to be lifted off of the ground. And I'm going to call that a thrust force, F thrust. And one way to write the condition for hovering is to say the upwards direction is positive and that when the force of thrust minus the force of gravity is equal to zero, those two forces would be equal and opposite and the system would simply hover. And so when the thrust force when the thrust force is equal to the gravitational force, this is the criteria for hovering. The left hand side of this equation, uh, F thrust, can be written as dp dt, where p represents the momentum of the system. As fuel is ejected from the jetpack, the momentum of the system is changing because the mass of the system is changing. On the right hand side of this equation, the gravitational force could be written as m, which represents the mass of the person jetpack system, times g. The gravitational force exerted on that system is mg. And because the mass of the system is changing, but the velocity that the um, exhaust is coming out of the jetpack is constant, the left hand side of this equation can be written as dm dt times a constant negative velocity uh, v which would be equal to 850 meters per second in this case. The right hand side of the equation can remain as mg. The goal of this problem is to solve for the amount of time that the person jetpack system could hover, and so I would like to, to solve for t. And so the way that I'll solve for t is by using separation of variables and integrating both sides of this equation. So in order to do that, I need to make sure that the equation is arranged properly. I need to move the m over to the left-hand side and move everything else over to the right-hand side. And so now performing those operations, uh, what I'm left with is minus 1 over m dm equals g over v dt. And so I've divided both sides by m, I've multiplied both sides by dt, and I've divided both sides by v. And so the next thing that I need to do is integrate both sides. On the left hand side, I'm going to leave the minus sign out of the integration, and I'm going to have the integral of 1 over m dm, and on the right hand side, I'm going to leave g and v outside of the integral because both of those are constants, and I will have the integral of dt. The next thing that I need to think about is what are the starting and ending limits of uh, integration. On the right hand side, I can start at a time of zero and end at a time t that represents the amount of hovering time that the person jetpack system had. And on the left hand side, if I'm 
going to get the correct answer for t, I need to make sure that I have the correct masses for when the person jetpack system starts hovering and finishes hovering. And so th they should be able to hover for the amount of time that they have fuel. And so the initial mass uh, is quite simply just a capital letter M, but the final mass would be the amount of mass left after the 20% of the system's mass is burned because there was 20% of the mass there as fuel. And so how can I express uh, the 80% the of the mass that would be left after the fuel is gone? I could write that as 0.8 m. 20% of the mass was lost in fuel, and so 80% of the system's mass remains. And so I should write 0.8m as the upper limit of that integral. On the left-hand side of the equation, I have the integral of 1 over m dm, which is the natural log of m, which needs to be evaluated at m and 0.8m and there also should be a minus sign out in front. And on the right hand side of the equation I have the constants g over v and then the integral of dt. So one, uh, the integral of one is just t here. And so I have a t which needs to be evaluated at zero and t. And so when I plug in the limits and subtract on the left hand side I get minus the natural log of 0.8m minus the natural log of m and on the right hand side of the equation I get gt over v minus 0. On the left hand side of the equation the natural log of a minus the natural log of b can be written as the natural log of a divided by b. So the left hand side of this equation can be written as minus the natural log of 0.8m over m and the right hand side can be just written as gt over v. And so on the left hand side the m's will cancel leaving me with uh, minus the natural log of 0 0.8 which is a number and that number is a positive 0 0.22 and on the right hand side of this equation I have g which is 9.8 times t divided by v which is the um, average speed of the exhaust coming out of the jetpack which is 850 meters per second. And so uh, 0.22 times 850 divided by 9.8 should represent t, the amount of time that the system can hover. And so here, the amount of time that I get from that equation is roughly 19 seconds.